Hello guys, my name is FX and welcome back to Alan Wake Remastered. In the last episode, we are well on our way and we still are well on our way to get to Mirror Peak Lookout. It's taken us an absolute age because we can't drive there. We've got to walk. Obviously, we, we've, we've, we've got situations on the way of getting there. But I'm fairly confident, he says, touch wood, that we're almost there and out of the woods, literally speaking. So hopefully, in the not too distant future, we'll be out of it. And we'll be getting on to the next section. So, that being said, sit back, relax, and let's get started. Okay. How we go around. Okay. <laughs> asked and answered or semi-asked and answered. There's another manuscript here. Going to read this and listen to this before we make a move. Maud had checked all of Stucky's rental cabins. There had been no sign of the wakes. It was dark when he'd found their car parked at the end of the road by Cauldron Lake. It made no sense. They must have taken a wrong turn, but there was no sign of them, and the car had been there for hours already. Frustrated, Mott stood on the rotten ruin of the footbridge that had once led to Diver's Isle before it sank beneath the waves years ago. The boss wouldn't be happy. Okay, we've made it, and now we've got a new objective. Cross the mountain in ruins. They just keep moving the bloody goalposts further and further away, don't they? It's not good. Don't like it. Kind of feel like I'm there, and then I'm not. Which way do we go? We don't go that way. How do we go up here? Okay, this looks climbable or scalable. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Nice, I did that. Nice. Look at me. Tell you what, mate. When we reunite with Alice, I'm gonna be a new man. Okay, we need to get. Oh, we don't go that way. We need to go through the building, do we? I think. How we do that? I don't know. Is it down here? Oh. There we go. Then again, that might have just been for a crate. I'm not complaining, though. Oh, it's not that. <laughs> okay, it's not that. I miss you, Tom. Did you write this? Tom, 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 Tom. I curse you, Thomas Zane. Oh, Tom, 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 Okay, I think we go upstairs. If we can. I mean, I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this, but... I'm making it work. Oh, there's an earthquake. Of course there is. Right, have we got everything? Now we have, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I don't really want to stick around and check, to be honest with you, because it sounds like the building could collapse at any point. Um. Oh, do we all? What did I just say? What did I just say? I've got a flare gun, though. That's good. That's handy. That's good. Excellent. One more time for the guys at the back. Spifferoonie. There's still one guy left, though. Oh, there's two. That's nice. There we go. I mean, I don't mean a brag, but that was probably the smoothest section I've done. Either in general or for a long time. And I presume we go out here, right? We don't go that way. We go this way. And only break one of the legs. Now where do we go? Okay. Mirror Peak Lookout is back. Which was the original objective. I could see Cold Lake. I thought I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. Okay. I tell you, what's that in the distance? Can we not just go there? That looks nice and pretty. There's lights on, so hopefully there's people home. I was close now. I had to get there fast. I dreaded what I would find. Okay. Uh, we're just going to do a light jog, mate. Oh. Hello? Hey, I'm here! I'm coming! No, get away. Oh, what? Run. Sorry. Please, please. The boss didn't know who he was messing with. I, I didn't know. I swear, I didn't know. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. She's probably drunk.
on Alan Wake. I'm hunted by the law. Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported no. kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you lie. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Faster. It's okay, Alan. Just let go. Oh, I don't know what's bloody real and what's not anymore. I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't okay, focus. Okay, we can move. I'm just pressing the wrong button. <laughs> I'm pressing E instead of W. Never mind. Oh, locked. shit. I was a prisoner here. Excellente. What do we do then? Climb out the window? No. Oh, I think someone's coming. Act to sleep, Alan. Act to sleep. Hello. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message, loud and clear. Oh, hi. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Okay, so, again, I know we don't necessarily want to be here, this corridor is for but patients. it is daylight. Aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip, except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. This way, Alan. Okie dokie, Doctor. Thanks for holding the door open for me, you bastard. And we're going down a lift. Excellent. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. I mean, when he puts it like that. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, 
I had to fight not to believe his it's words. It's a bloody nice place you've got here, Doc. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation. I hate with sections like this that you don't have a walk button so you can just walk side by side. You've got to wait for them to kind of walk a little bit and then run to catch up. Return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? Unless there is a... Oh, there is a walk button. It's control. <laughs> what? What? Everything can be explained logically. Okay, I didn't. I didn't know there was a walk button, Doctor. I do apologize. Right, I don't. I really don't know who or what the fudge to believe anymore. Um, because obviously they both they both have fair points. I'm so confused. Ah. <sighs> Never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. Oh, and it's it about to piss it down. A storm coming. Excellent. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way. Follow me. Does that mean it's going to start getting dark, Doctor? Oh, what I'm Christ. telling you is good news. Right now, we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well. It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the I illness. I let him talk. All, Hartman I'm obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, can't I dug my nails do it into the myself, palms of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Come along. Let's go inside. Hmm. Okay. Hello there. La Hello, henchman. Now here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. Okay. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> Emerson. <laughs> I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video games. It's trash, of course, but it does involve some small creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. And then we've got a pop idol contestant. I like it. Is it just three of us here then, is there, Doc? Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Four of us. Five of us. Six of us. Six of us? My rheumatism's killing me. Oh, it's the guys at the diner. Oh, what a storm. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a... How should I put this? Oh, 
Tor is one of the okay. gods of Asgard. Manuscript. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. No, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Zane! You're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. My head. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He, too, had a way with words. I was clearing up. Or, according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything crazy or not the andersons made more sense okay so we've got to return to our room well he's the boss i mean i imagine is up here even though it was dark as shit i didn't even know there were stairs there it's starting to get dark i'm not myself it's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. There was a QR code behind me. I don't know if that's relevant. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me using me to get the story it wants and the story will come true okay so we've not got a flashlight anymore so i'm just gonna follow the oh hartman had mentioned no, that the power no. had been acting up maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony the generator hadn't been activated and there was no key oh something's gonna go down here i've just seen a thermos i can't play it without it i need to go and pick it up why don't you humor dr hartman and give the writing a shot huh typewriters in your room you said hartman that? wanted me to write you can get to I your knew room I could. by those stairs okay, i figured i should just play along <laughs> i'm already ahead of you lad the only thing i could do with nurse birch watching me like he's bloody dark as shit here is this my room this isn't my room i can't right i'm gone oh we found it never mind we're good we are good the white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, wake. You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? Ah, 
And on that note, guys, I am going to leave that one there. So we're currently in the doctor's lodge. It is dark as shit, both outside and inside. Sorry, I can't do anything about it. There's no brightness in the options for whatever bloody reason. It sounds like commotion is happening downstairs. So I'm going to leave this one here. And then in the next episode, we're going to find out what the hell is going on. So that being said, thank you so much for watching. And I shall see you in the next video. Take it easy, guys. Bye, yo.